Yo, what's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about bone mineral density in a study that was done on people in different diet groups consisting of omnivore, lacto-vegetarian, vegetarian, and vegan. So stay tuned. All right, so today I'm just gonna go through some slides with you guys. This first caption shows a normal bone on top and then a bone with osteoporosis on bottom. This is also commonly known as bone disease. And so as we can see here, the bone on bottom is less dense. Therefore, it has less bone mineral density as the bone on top, which would be considered a healthy bone. Uh, when we are not getting an adequate amount of nutrients in our body, our body goes to our bones. It leaches the nutrients from our bones to supply the body um, with adequate nutrients to function. This is a term I like to use, uh, running off our reserves. So it's taking from the bank. When we're not supplying our body with enough nutrients, it's gonna look for anywhere that it can to take them and utilize them for proper function. And this is a paragraph from an article on bone mineral density among omnivores, vegetarians, and vegans. And so what this paragraph is talking about is vegetarians having roughly 4% lower femoral neck bone mineral density and roughly 4% lower lumbar spine density. So this means that their bones were roughly 4% lower in the bone mineral density test. Okay, so this paragraph talks about the importance of bone mineral density and the increased, increased risk of bone fracture. So it says that uh, the lower the bone mineral density, the greater the risk of bone fracture. So the vegetarian group had about 4% less bone mineral density. And then it goes on to state that the relative risk of fracture in vegans is roughly 10% higher than non-vegetarians. But as we make our way down the paragraph, it also states that this is actually not a significant difference uh, for bone health and that you know these vegetarian diets are not necessarily at that high of a risk for bone fracture just because of the small differences, although we do see them. So I found this paragraph particularly interesting. Uh, it talks about the relationship between animal protein and bone health. It's been long hypothesized that animal protein diets exert a negative effect on bone health. But as we can see here in this paragraph, there's conflicting data. There is data out there suggesting that higher dietary protein intake is associated with a lower risk of fracture. And on the other hand, there are also studies showing that a higher dietary protein intake is associated with bone loss and greater risk of fracture. So less protein, more protein, we're unclear as to whether that has a positive or negative effect on bone health. Uh, I think a lot of it probably has to do with where the protein is coming from. You know, is it a protein powder? Is it in a whole food source? Um, and what's the rest of the diet like? So we need to look at the context and the quality. Uh, and then it goes on to talk about how uh, protein intake in vegans was lower than omnivores, although there was not a significant difference in bone mineral density between vegans and omnivores on the basis of this data, specifically on protein intake. So that could mean that uh, protein intake is not all to be looked at when talking about bone mineral density. It goes far beyond just, do you have enough protein in your diet? The other major factor I believe is uh, the amount of fat soluble vitamins in the diet. So how much vitamin D are we getting? Therefore, we're gonna be able to utilize calcium. All right, so here's a snippet from Dr. John McDougall who promotes the starch-based diet. I believe last year he fell down in his bathroom and fractured his vertebrae, his pelvis, and his femur at the age of 69 years old. This is absolutely alarming 
for somebody to fall and sustain injuries to this degree. He is obviously lacking adequate nutrients in his diet. I believe, uh, you know, not having enough cholesterol, which would lead to not being able to produce enough vitamin D, which would lead to not being able to utilize, utilize calcium properly, along with a low protein diet for building collagen in the bones is probably created osteoporosis within himself. And so um, this is definitely something we need to take a look at. Here I've got a depiction of the femur bone in red. It's the largest bone in the body. So for him to fracture this bone, it's extremely alarming, like I said. And there are also studies that show that the further away from the equator are or the less sun that we have, the more important it is to obtain vitamin D from dietary intake, which also leads to the importance of cholesterol for uh, proper synthesis and utilization. So to summarize the article, vegetarians and vegans uh, had less bone mineral density, although they weren't necessarily at a greater risk for uh, bone fracture, that's still out for debate, and that high protein diets weren't necessarily the cause of leaching uh, calcium from the bones and that uh, protein in itself wasn't necessarily a direct uh, contributor to bone mineral density although I'm sure it's I mean I'm sure it's much more complex than that there are many other factors but it does I mean the bones are made of collagen which are protein so that is to be taken into consideration uh, you know, if anybody is on a plant-based diet, I highly recommend working with a professional to make sure that you're getting an adequate amount of nutrients, not just on paper. We see it on paper and it looks good, but are you actually able to digest, absorb, and utilize the plant-based nutrients and convert them into animal nutrients? Um, I don't think this is talked about enough, whether this conversion between the from plant nutrients into animal nutrients is actually happening and that people living in a colder climate uh, have been shown to be at a greater risk for osteoporosis so there is more of a need for uh, dietary vitamin d and cholesterol and calcium and this would be coming from animal foods um, but the quality of the animal food is also very important in my opinion uh, and just to elaborate more on the increased risk factor for a bone fracture, go check out my first video called Fruitarian Goes Carnivore and look at all the testimonials of people who went vegan for a short period of time, broke bones, lost teeth, including myself. I have probably eight broken teeth from when I was vegan. And this is a really common theme that I'm seeing is people go on a plant-based diet. They aren't able to get all the nourishment from the plants. Uh, you know, maybe they probably aren't getting enough vitamin D and Therefore, they can't utilize the calcium in the food. Therefore, they're leaching calcium from their bones, leading to osteoporosis. And this is definitely seen in the teeth when we get cavities, when we break, break our teeth, they fall out, they chip, etc., etc. So go check out that first video. Uh, thank you guys so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe for more content. And leave me some messages down below with what you'd like me to make a video on. And like I said, if you'd like to get a hold of me, send me an email at dugofwargan at gmail.com.